Ferretti has been hard at work trying to give its boat a longer, leaner, sportier look, and it's really paid off with this new 550. It's got lots of neat features too, like this angled bathing platform that slides down into the water to reveal steps going further all the way down the hull into the water. With no overhead radar mast and these relatively low seat backs, it can feel a little exposed up on the flybridge, but there is an option to install a proper hardtop up here, as well as the usual extending bimini. On the foredeck, there's a really good seating area with a walkthrough section so that you can get from one side to the other without having to go all the way round the bow. There's plenty of seating on the flybridge dinette, but the table does need to be fitted with an extending crown if everyone's going to eat up here. There's a good sized windscreen providing plenty of protection and a flip over backrest on the helm bench so that it can face astern as well as forward. Down below is the main saloon area and we really like the layout here with the aft galley and teak floor making it feel as much as an extension of the cockpit as it is of the saloon. There is of course a dining area here and the inevitable pop-up TV. The helm is to port as usual and enjoys an opening side window and terrific views out through the large windscreen. The full beam owner's suite is particularly spacious for a boat of this size and enjoys those large hull windows as well as this rather neat little two-person dinette. You can just imagine sitting down here having breakfast looking out of the window onto the sea. Headroom is particularly impressive down here and as with all Ferrettis, there's plenty of storage and a really well engineered feeling. The ensuite bathroom is very classy with high-tech fittings and taps, lots of natural light through those hull windows and a really smart mosaic tiled walk-in shower. The third cabin is a proper twin rather than a bunk bed design and that leads through into the shared bathroom which also has ensuite access to the main guest cabin further forward. Ferretti tend to build their boats nice and beamy and you can really feel it here in the forward cabin where there's a properly large double bed. And of course those large hull windows, plenty of storage and all the facilities and engineering that you'd expect of a Ferretti yacht. It really thinks about how its boats are used with plenty of storage spaces and of course room for a washing machine. There's even a storage space under the companionway stairs, which all adds up to a really good cruising boat.